Prince Harry arrives back in LA after fleeting 24-hour UK trip to see his cancer-stricken father King Charles. Duke is pictured climbing into chauffeured SUV after changing flights to avoid delaying his return to Meghan Markle and their kids. Prince Harry has been pictured arriving in back in Los Angeles after making a lightning-quick trip back to the UK to meet with his cancer-stricken father King Charles. The 39-year-old Duke of Sussex was seen outside LAX airport on Wednesday evening, around 12 hours after he was spotted at Heathrow Airport in London where he is understood to have made a last-minute change to his flight plans when his original plane was delayed. He made the decision to travel to the UK shortly after learning that his father had been diagnosed with an unspecified type of cancer while undergoing treatment for an enlarged prostate. The king is said to have informed both of his sons about his illness personally, prompting a quick dash across the Atlantic by his youngest son. Upon his arrival back in L.A., Harry was seen being escorted to a waiting SUV that was arranged for him by pricey travel concierge service PS, which offers its wealthy customers an array of special treatments, including a private airport suite and a private car to show for you to and from the airport. Harry, who was understood to have spent just 45 minutes with his father, 75, during a brief meeting at Clarence House on Wednesday, is said to have changed from a British Airways flight to a Delta plane in order to avoid delaying his return home to Meghan Markle and their children. It's understood that he switched to the Delta flight because the British Airways flight he was supposed to take was delayed by two hours, the Express reported earlier today. Flight records show that the British Airways Flight 269 that he was expected to take was due to depart Heathrow at 3.05 p.m. local time, but actually left at 5.19 p.m. No doubt Harry was eager to return to his wife and their two children, Archie and Lilibet, who did not make the journey over to the UK with the Duke. Instead, Meghan remained at home with their kids, and was seen on Wednesday driving around Los Angeles in the couple's Range Rover, with a wide smile on her face, while sipping a beverage from a white mug. During Harry's trip to London, Meghan remained at home with their children while all of Southern California was under flash flood advisories and watches. The historic Pineapple Express weather system dumped a record amount of rain over parts of Los Angeles on Monday, sending mud and boulders down hillsides dotted with multi-million dollar homes. The storm is causing chaos over several regions including the star-studded Beverly Hills, Malibu and the Sussex's Montecito neighborhood. Harry and Meghan, George Clooney, Lady Gaga and Halle Berry are among the celebrities whose multi-million dollar mansions were all under threat from the severe storms although none were reported to have been evaluated. The Sussex's $14.65 million Montecito mansion was under a flood watch warning for 28 hours while their surrounding county, Santa Barbara, was deluged with inches of rain on Monday. Harry had flown more than 5,000 miles from Los Angeles to London after his father informed him of his devastating cancer diagnosis. He flew into London on a 10-hour flight and arrived at Clarence House at 2.42 p.m. local time on Tuesday before spending around 45 minutes with Charles. They held a brief meeting before the King and Camilla were driven to Buckingham Palace where a helicopter was waiting to take them back to Sandringham in Norfolk. It is thought that Harry stayed in a luxury hotel during his trip to London, having technically been made homeless in the UK since the Sussex's eviction from Frogmore Cottage last year. The Duke is not thought to have seen his brother William or sister-in-law Kate Middleton, who is recovering from her abdominal surgery and on extended leave from her public-facing duties. Charles was seen in public for the first time since his cancer diagnosis was made public when he left his offices at Clarence House after the brief reunion with Harry. Harry's arrival back in the UK came as his stepmother, Queen Consort Camilla, issued her first public statement on her husband's health during a public engagement at a charity concert. Speaking to well-wishers who had gathered outside Salisbury Cathedral in Wiltshire, Camilla assured them that Charles was doing extremely well under the circumstances. Camilla said King Charles, who underwent his first bout of treatment earlier this week, was very touched by all the messages of support he has been receiving from around the world. He is doing extremely well under the circumstances, she said when told by one onlooker that he was very sad to hear the news of Charles's diagnosis. He is very touched by all of the letters and messages the public have been sending from everywhere. That's very cheering. 
Buckingham Palace announced the king was undergoing treatment for unspecified cancer on Monday. Doctors discovered the cancer whilst treating the monarch for an enlarged prostate just over a week prior, according to the palace.